Meet Andy. My choice of woman is someone with a good sense of humour, basically. Uh, she's, she's got to be cute. There's someone like Cameron Diaz, Elizabeth Hurley. Time to call in the seduction squad. Flirt queen Tracy Cox, psychologist, author and body language expert. Ace communicator Stephen Anderson, actor, writer, stand-up performer. Style guru Jay Hunt, the woman who takes the stress out of shopping. And leading the team, Larry Turner, advisor, friend and confidant. Together they'll put our lonely heart through a six-week assault course to romance. That felt, was so much better. I felt like a weirdo stalker. <laughs> to help them find that special someone they would like to meet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we like, we like oh, Andy. <laughs> what do you reckon, Tracy? I think he's a classic guy who is so scared of rejection, he'd prefer to not do anything than go over and make a fool mm. of himself. I mean, just some basic flirting skills will teach this guy. We've just got time to get into position in the surveillance van, and Jay immediately spots a fashion faux pas. Well, I don't think it's very funny, actually. <laughs> I think no, it's I mean... a wasted outfit for a first date. Huh? That's like saying, um, I think so little of you, I've yeah. just got completely pissed. Yeah. How will Andy react when he meets the beautiful Nicola? Oh, here she comes. Hello. Hi there. Oh, hello. No, he didn't leap. He didn't stand up. Get up. Oh, he's oh, gone up there. He's only half up. There. I think he's shot there, Larry. He's taking my surprise. So is this um, because you're going to get wasted tonight and you're planning to? No, it's because I am wasted. Oh, I'm on, on the scrappy. <laughs> oh, dear. Hang on. Ten minutes into the date and Andy's giving away all his secrets. My uh, <laughs> biological father. Uh, I don't see him. I don't see him. Epilepsy. Yeah. It's dead common with it, mate, it seems. Yeah. Um, just like a face or something. But right. I still take tablets for it, just in uh -huh. case, you know. He is incredibly honest. Yeah. By being that honest and showing your vulnerability, despite the fact we say endlessly men mm. should do this, you can come over a bit as wounded puppies, yes. aren't you? Kilbert is just unbelievable. Is it... you, you, just, oh, you just walk around, you look at the sea, and it's like a swimming pool. I think he's relating to her in a lovely, friendly, warm way, but I don't think he's being Mr. Sexy, no. come over here and rip my shirt off. How will he cope with Nicola's ample cleavage? Oh, here comes the top. The, top. the jacket's coming off. Where his eyes go? Wait, watch, watch, yeah, watch, yeah. watch, watch, okay. watch. Oh, go on, look. So oh, the dirty. Your parents are still, still down in Devon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I just cannot believe <laughs> there could be no guy in the world that. Drop your eyes, just drop he them a little bit. What guys tend to do, they try and work a crafty way as a girl looks away to check them out. Yeah. And he hasn't even done that. It doesn't even look as though he's lining up a crafty way to have a little bit of a peep. It's quite sad, actually. It's... Andy's conversation might be flowing, but his hair definitely isn't. I, I actually do my own hair now. I've, I've started shaving it off. People, their hair starts receding and they think, oh, God, I don't want to have that straggly bit, so mm. I know what I'll do. I'll do whatever all the trendy guys are doing and shave the whole thing mm. off. Yeah. Yeah. But to me, that's too far it because you've got to be incredibly good looking. Yeah, and have a really nice and a shaped really head. Yeah. shaped head to get away with it. Yeah. To either not look mm. gay yeah. or look like you're a real skinhead sure. toffee. Mm. Mm. Nicola's clearly relaxing into the date, but Andy's been floored by her more obvious assets. Has he not started to lean back more, Tracy, yeah, since he took the top off? Freaks. The nervous yeah. laughter, the leaning back. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear little thing. I mean, he said so he doesn't, he doesn't know how to play it. He was a bit gobsmacked and swept away when she first turned up in the denim jacket, stunning. And then suddenly she takes the jacket off, looks like a supermodel. He's bound to be panicked and freaked out. So confidence-wise, you've got to sort that out. And he's not doing too badly, but would he have got this far with Nicola if the date was for real? So, um, say we were out in like a club, how would you go about approaching me then if you, like, if you liked me and we were out or something like that? Because like here, we've both like been sat here. Yeah, no, to, like, be honest, to, here. to be honest, I'd give you a wide berth. You wouldn't? Uh, you would no, no, I don't mean that. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Awful way. Uh, this is what it's all about. I'd be frightened to death oh. going up. Is that, that that's the only reason? Reason, yeah. you, you'd like feel intimidated. You're, by yeah, me. yeah, very intimidated. Right. You wouldn't even say me anything. Oh, Andy. Oh, I think I want to marry him now. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> me too. <laughs> Andy's problem isn't that women don't fancy him. 
it's that he doesn't realise they fancy yes. him, so he mm. never makes a move. No, it's already said, you know, I don't, I'm a nice lad, I don't understand why I'm single. The reason Andy is single is because he's not getting across there and chatting to he's them. He's not asking mm. them out, is He's he? not That's asking right. them out. You know, if you don't ask them out, how you, if you don't ask, you don't get. Jack. Week two and time for Andy's first session with Conversation King Stephen. Andy's never short of something to say, but it clearly isn't helping him when it comes to chatting up women. Just to prove you don't have to be in a bar to meet a partner, Stephen's brought him to a local park and enlisted the help of a four-legged friend. I've got to say from the top, your conversation skills were excellent. Yeah. Now, one thing I did notice was you did give away lots and lots of information. Um, mm -hmm. It's good to be honest and open on a first date, but also it's good to keep some information back about yourself for date two, date three, date four. Right. Don't burn it all out in one date. My uh, biological father. Uh, I don't see him. Epilepsy. Yeah. It's dead common when it might seems. A first date should be quite sort of light and frivolous. You talked about the fact that there's no dad, and you mentioned the epilepsy. Why did you why did you bring that up? It's I can't remember, but it's because it don't bother me. Yeah. It didn't bother me. Okay, I, don't, I don't even know why I mentioned it actually. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time you had a, a fit? Yeah, a couple of years ago. Oh well there you go. I mean it's not worth yeah. talking about because it can look like luggage to some people. Yeah, and, I appreciate and, and that, also, yeah. you know, scare people off. So just sort of keep it light, keep it frivolous and have fun, you know. But other than that it went really, really, really well. When was the last time you approached and got blown out? It was only a few weeks ago. I okay. went to a bar and I was aware that I was being stared at yeah. by these two okay. girls and me being me didn't go up, not for a while. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. I eventually went up and I says, uh, hi, how are you doing? Uh, are you waiting for anybody or anything like that? Yeah. What, you're on your own sort of thing. Okay. And I says, are we waiting for Mr. Wright? Yeah. They were like, no go. Now, 38% of initial impressions are how we say things. It's about the tone yeah. and the inflection. So basically, it's all about the delivery, yeah. OK? Yeah. So what you've got to do is you've got to match the mood of your listener. So, you know, if there's a couple of girls there, you've got to go across. And within that sort of first five to ten seconds, you've got to work out, are they quiet, are they buoyant, are they bored, are they up for it? And then you've got to listen to that. And then, of course, you've got to go in and adjust your tone to suit that situation. Mm -hmm. If you go across to someone, and they're not interested. So what? You know, right, you've got yeah. your type, they've got their time. So never see rejection as a personal thing. Right. I'm, I'm just trying to, yeah, I'm not even you know, to get you over there because I really want to sort of get you across approaching people in a light, casual, fun manner right. and then just to see where you can take it from there. Yeah, it's, yeah? it's definitely that initial going over. Yeah. I, I want to get that confidence up by okay. actually going over. Okay, so with that in mind, Andy Halstead, yep. I have an exercise for you. Right. Now you see my little dog, Angus, who can't wait to get out for a walk. <laughs> so what I want you to do is to, as you're wandering around the park, to find a couple of people that you can approach. To get across and just practice that five to seven seconds, work out, you know, okay, what sort of person are you? You know, are, yeah. you, are you quiet? Are you lively? You know, yeah. what, what level should I go in at? You know, I mean, you'll, you'll come up with a few things, you know, excuse me, is there a cafeteria in the park? Uh, where's the lake? Yeah. Uh, you haven't seen my poop scoop, have you, madam? <laughs> you know, something on those lines. Right. You up for that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. The fact that his twin brother's getting married and his friends are all in relationships is really preying on Andy's mind. He's beginning to feel left behind. If he's going to find a date in the next four weeks, he's got to give everything a go. Hopefully, Angus will help. You all right? <laughs> you all right? What's his name? Uh, Angus. What's yours? Frank. Frank? Yeah, quite a lot, yeah. Do you live around there? Yeah. It's a nice walk, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right then, nice meeting you. Bye. Take it easy. Angus did well there, but Andy's got room for improvement. Will he do better with the brunette under the tree? Sorry about that. Right. I'm sorry about yeah. that. He's always trying to run off. <laughs> Angus, he's only 16 weeks old. He's really strong for his age as well. Okay. He's really, really strong. What's your name? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, Vicky. Vicky. I'm Andy. If you don't... Pleased to meet you. Are you out tonight, isn't it, Vicky? Yeah, I'm back. Where are you going? Anywhere nice? Um, we're going to Evolution. Yeah. I've never been yet. Yeah, I've never been there yet. So, I was in town, when I was in town, Wednesday night. I was DJing. You're not Soul Kitchen? I've never been. I'm on, I'm on next month. It's all old school hip hop. I don't know if you like it. Yeah, I really like it. But if you want to, come down. Bring your boyfriend down. Yeah, okay. Alright, Vicky. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. I'll shit you later.
Take it easy, Vicky. <laughs> Bless you. See you later. Right. Thanks a lot. Come on, you.